Hello and welcome. Today, we're excited to introduce the latest features of Burning Test version 11. In this video, we explore the new test inclusions and performance updates that have been included with this release. As of version 11, Burning Test has been ported to and is now fully compatible with Windows ARM. NPU Test The NPU test verifies the correct operation of supported neural processing unit devices by running machine learning tasks on them. In the inference test, the NPU processes image classification using the MobileNet V2 model, which is a type of neural network designed for computer vision. The test compares the results with expected values, and if there are any discrepancies, they are logged. The testing window displays how many inferences have been performed, and the tonal count is shown at the end. Future updates may support additional models. The direct ML test runs arithmetic tests on the NPU using direct ML, a machine learning API. It compares the results to those generated by the CPU. Please note, this test is still experimental as it may not work on all machines due to drive issues. It runs on devices that support direct X12 machine learning capabilities. PCIe Gen 4 Testing The PCIe test is designed to work in conjunction with the PCIe Gen 4 test card. Previously, only Gen 2 test cards were supported. When the card is installed in a PCIe expansion slot, burn-in tests can be used to verify that the slot is functioning properly and that it is reaching advertised speeds. The two main test modes are 1. Loopback which verifies reliability of data transmission over the PCIe slots by writing known values to the PCIe device and verifying no corruption occurred in the transfer. This enables the user to find motherboard hardware, BIOS or Windows PCIe configuration issues before deployment. And two, Benchmark, which attempts to maximize data throughput and measuring the time taken to perform the operation to determine the PCIe slot's performance and whether the PCIe slot is performing as expected. RGB light test. The RGB light test can be used to check the functionality of LED lights on RGB devices compatible with Windows Dynamic Lighting. It requires a minimum of Windows 10 version 1809 but Windows 11 or later is recommended due to API limitations on Windows 10 that can cause unreliable tests and recognition issues. The app tests if the light are properly turning on and off, verifies lighting effects like rainbow, breathing, gradient and wave, and ensures the correct display of colors such as red, green and blue. Supported devices include keyboards, mice, game controllers, peripherals, headsets, and more. It is important to note that the RGB light test doesn't ensure correct operation. It just allows you to check the functionality of your RGB devices. Battery test. The battery life test in Burning Test is designed to provide a repeatable, comparable test of how long a device's battery lasts under control conditions. Unlike standard Burning Test testing, which stresses hardware to its limits, this test places a constant load on the hardware per unit time to simulate normal tasks and better reflect everyday battery use. The test includes CPU, disk and video playback activities to represent real world tasks. It runs continuously until the battery drops below 5% to ensure safe shutdown and result recording. To maintain consistency, the test uses a fixed workload meaning the same amount of work is done regardless of hardware speed, ensuring fair comparisons across devices. You can launch the battery life test from the pre-configured tests tab. The test will fail if the device is plugged into or disconnected from AC power during the process. Improved GPU load. Rendering to fixed resolution off-screen buffers in DirectX 12 Tests allow for a more consistent GPU workload. 
By using a set resolution, separate from the displays, we ensure the GPU works at full capacity, making results independent of resolution. This approach provides a fair comparison of graphics performance across different hardware setups by keeping the workload uniform, so differences in display settings don't affect the test outcomes. With version 11, we've made enhancements to the inventory comparison function. It can be used as a tool for detecting missing or differing system components on production lines, ensuring that all components match the specs found in the inventory file. If required, you can customise what components are compared in the system preferences. We have now included the ability to print labels that include system specs such as the operating system, memory, CPU, graphics card, disk information and serial number. Licensing changes. With the release of version 11, each burn-in test license purchase will allow the user two simultaneous sessions. At startup, burn-in test will try to connect to the Passmark license server. If it cannot connect, a message box will be displayed saying, burn-in test failed to connect to the Passmark license server and all tests will stop. If burn-in test can connect but both sessions are active, the server will deactivate the older session and allow burn-in test to function. After startup, at intervals, burn-in test will check with the license server. If a session becomes inactive, such as when burn-in test is started on another machine with the same license key, any ongoing testing will stop, results will be shown, and the user will not be able to start a new test. However, if required, the user can restart burn-in test to a new session, which will deactivate the other, older active session on a different machine. Other license changes to note are that monitor test and keyboard test, which previously required separate license purchases, are now included with burn-in test. The version 11 release also includes numerous bug fixes, feature enhancements and additional improvements. For a detailed list of changes, visit passmark.com. For more information on burn-in test version 11, or to download a free trial, visit passmark.com.